All right, let's go to mind only. Uh, the reason I'm showing you that is I want to show you how to search the database, how to use the search tools, okay? But to, to use the search tool, you have to know where to search. Okay, all right, here we go to mind only. We don't have yet? If I recall, we don't. We couldn't find the scan of this book. Up some Karpa? Oh, no, we switched books. Let me check right now. Yeah, you, you have it. Don't use the Guru Deva edition. <laughs> okay. Okay, use the Tashi Thambu edition. Okay. Kumbhum edition. Okay. Okay, all right. Uh, we're ready to start the actual text, I think. So, uh, did we do this part? I don't think. No. no we're on okay, on. so this person has inserted uh, Tsongkhapa's root text in the Tsongkhapa's auto commentary. Okay, mm -hmm. so let's go for it. The first couple verses here were. I know this one's from the root text, right? Yeah. Probably this one is too. I think they all are. When I looked, I think. Yeah. All the beginning ones were. So I would put. I would make some kind of special marks where you have his root text, because you're going to have other things quoted that are not his root text. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. make yourself some kind of code, like square brackets means jetsam kappa, or curly braces means jetsam kappa. Okay? Mm. This is a good example of reading across a line. Okay, the line has been chopped, and you have to read across the line. The, the units of meaning are not the lines. Mm -hmm. The units of meaning are independent of the structure of the lines. And uh, I think <coughs> we'll talk about it, but in general, when you translate into English, it's better to do this and have short lines, rather than a line that goes to the end of the page and, and curls under. You see? Then cut that into two or three lines and let, let the reader read across the lines so that physically on the page it looks symmetrical and easy. So you can take a four-line, it's very typical for me, I'll take a four-line Tibetan verse and make it six lines of English or even eight. And then sometimes I just ignore it. I don't care how many lines it is. Some will be five, some will be six, some will be four, mm -hmm. you know. I try to get the meaning in. I don't care how many lines I have to take. But I try to make the lines short. I try to make them not more than half the page. You know? Uh, so I encourage you to try to do that. And we'll talk about it when we get to <coughs> critiquing people's translations. Okay? Uh, Mawa? Bashika? Yeah, Bashika. Oftentimes it means teacher. Oh, it? It's profess or. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, this means to profess, right? This is bash, basha, basa. Uh, dampa can mean holy, but it can also mean high, <coughs> ultimate, like dundam demba, ultimate reality. Mm -hmm. Okay. So in this case, it means the the highest of teachers. Okay. Uh, Lung Ten. Uh, that, that spoke the teachings? The, uh, Anybody? <coughs> Lung Ten has two meanings, okay? <coughs> Lung Ten has two meanings. The question's it, unanswered? Well, it actually has three meanings. <laughs> uh, Lung Du Temba. It's Lung Du Temba, mm -hmm. expressed in words. Lung Du Temba. Mm -hmm. So it can mean to predict the coming of some great person. Mm -hmm. A. Secondly, it can mean this process, when Buddha decides you're close to enlightenment, he puts his foot on your head and says, six more months. Okay, it's a personal prediction. And then, uh, in the study of karma, the same word means karmically active. Okay, as opposed to lung tu matemba. Lung maten. And uh, it means Buddha didn't declare that this is a good karma or a bad karma. Okay, and uh, Lungma then can mean uh, those 14 questions that Lord Buddha refused to answer. Oh, Does samsara have an end? 
it means it wasn't clarified. In that case, it means it wasn't clarified. So what I'm saying is be careful when you hit this word. Don't assume it's a prediction. Uh, it could be just uh, Buddha refused to answer it or did answer it. And then that came to mean if you do this action, it's not karmically neutral. It's going to be either good or bad. Buddha clarified it as being karmically active. Got it? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Here, since we're talking about Nagarjuna, what's your guess? Uh, predicted the great person that yeah. was going to precede him or whatever. People like to talk about how Nagarjuna was predicted mm -hmm. in several sutras. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, why is it relevant here? Um, because he spoke about Nagarjuna being the, the beginner of the yeah. minority school. Yeah, or involved with the beginning of the minority school. Somehow. Yeah, oh, right. be careful. Yeah, we don't know. Why. Yeah, maybe he criticized the minority school. I don't know. <laughs> okay, uh, uh, so the highest of uh, teachers, Maui Dampe, and I would say it's a reference to Lord Buddha, okay? Mm -hmm. But I'm not sure. It could be also Manjushri or something. We'll see. The highest of teachers. That could be plural or singular, right? The highest of teachers right. predicted that this person would zimba. Grasp, for keep. Yeah, preserve or mm -hmm. maintain in this world. Mm -hmm. Or re preserve in this world, or even recover in this world. Mm. Tech Pachok. The, the uh, Mahayana. The yeah, one. and you know, when I was studying with, uh, I think it was Trange with Geshe Tutu Rinchen, I took all my students there for a couple of years. We started with 10 people, it got up to like 50 or 60. And the last year we did it, yeah. they, they set up loudspeakers throughout the monastery. Wow. And we did it all day. <laughs> we did Tange all day, and I translated sentence by sentence, and they, they broadcast it around the monastery. Wow. And it was cool. So, uh, so anyway, Zimba uh, Nungten, <coughs> it was predicted by the Holy by the highest of teachers. So that way you, when the Tibetan's ambiguous, the English can be ambiguous. Mm -hmm, yeah. It's not clear whether it's singular or plural. <laughs> oh, teacher, okay, teacher. the highest of teachers. The highest of teachers oh. predicted, okay, it could mean only Lord Buddha or it could mean more than one person. Uh, this person would preserve, oh, the reason I brought up Geshe Tutarinjan, he gave this long, uh, aside, meaning uh, he went off the subject. I don't know why I have to see this. Uh, <laughs> but uh, that's an old DCI joke. I don't know why I have to see this. But he, he said that after Lord Buddha passed away, the Mahayana, the Mahayana, you know, most people say Mahayana started around the time of Nagarjuna. Mm -hmm. But Geshe Tutu went off on this long explanation of how of course, Buddha started Mahayana, and then after he passed away, Mahayana went into a decline. And for hundreds of years, the teachings on emptiness got messed up. And then, and then Nagarjuna came in and revived it. So some, most people think Nagarjuna started the Mahayana, but Geshe Thich Rinchen went off on this long thing that <coughs> Buddha started Mahayana, and then Hinayana spread after he died until the time of Nagarjuna. And then everything got straightened out again. Okay? And this is where he got it from. Now I realized this morning, <laughs> this is where he got it from. Okay? So here, here it goes. Uh, who was that that was predicted? Pakbalu. Arya Nagarjuna. Yeah, so when you say Nagarjuna's name, I would suggest you say Arya Nagarjuna. Okay. Uh, Not the realized being. Well, I just mean among us. Okay. Don't call him Nagarjuna. Oh, or not even Master Nagarjuna. They don't call him Master, they call him Arya. The Arya. And if you read his stuff, you can believe he was an Arya. Okay. Uh, then this makes it the subject of the sentence, right? By him. Mm -hmm. He did something. Take Chok Gepa Zhe. He spread. Good. Uh, his actions spread the supreme. Uh, teaching the supreme. the supreme path, meaning the Mahayana. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, 
This doesn't mean actions, it's a verbalizer for Gepa. Okay, it's the verbalizer. He spread them. Spreaded them? <laughs> okay, the Zepa is the ED. Okay, and then this could either be the Lord, by the Lord, or it could be after. Okay, here it happens to be after. Okay, so R-J-E-S can mean by the Lord, or it can mean afterwards. Okay, two different meanings. Okay, after that, uh, there was Tokme. Arya Sangha. Yeah. Uh, who had attained Lungten. The prediction? Yeah. Hmm. Now that's not the same Lungten as this Lungten. Okay, that's why I gave you Lungten lecture. Yeah. Mm. Okay? Mm -hmm. The point of the first Lungten is that Nagarjuna was predicted by the Buddha. Mm. The point of the second Lungten is that he gained a personal relationship with Maitreya. Maitreya. And Maitreya said, ble kind of blessed him. What do you call when someone approves somebody secular, spiritually, oh. he, he validated something like that. That experience of the dog uh, kind of cemented his position. Mm -hmm. I got, okay, something like that. Okay, so probably it's going to be explained here. Mm -hmm. By whom? By uh, Jessica. Oh, yeah. Jessica. Okay, here we go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, the first unit of meaning here stops with Jesu. Okay, the first meaning of... By the way, if you don't know what line I'm on, watch this screen. Okay, watch this screen. The top line is usually the top line. Okay, this, the thought here, the first thought ends with Jesu. Okay, so let's go backwards. Uh, after the tuba, Buddha, the yeah, one. the able one. Uh, Nyombar Shuk means uh, Nyam Shak. Uh, uh, Samapati. Yeah, went into meditation. Yeah. Okay. On Chuki Ying. On the realm of the Dharma. On the realm of all things. What's that a m euphemism for? Emptiness. Oh, Paranirvana? Yeah. Uh, okay, uh, after he went in. After he went to sit in his ultimate emptiness, which oh. means after he died. Uh -huh. Okay, they don't want to say Lord Buddha died. Uh -huh. They say after he chose to go into deep meditation on the ultimate realm, uh -huh. meaning after he died. <laughs> so you got to find a nice, you know, mm -hmm. spiritual euphemism. Zambuling uh -huh. uh, deer. Um, the earth or the continent of Zambuling. Here in the continent of Zambuling. Yeah, but in, in most Tibetan <coughs> presentations, it just means in this world. In this world. <coughs> so when you say Zambuling Dir, it's not a reference to this continent, to the mm. southern continent. Mm. It's a reference to the whole world, to this planet. Okay. Uh -huh. In this world, Tegpa Chamba Demba Noop. The teachings on emptiness declined. Yeah. Went south. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it says west. west. But, but it says west. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> so noob uh, means either the sun goes down, noob, uh -huh. and that became a word in Buddhism for the decline of the teachings. Uh -huh. Or it means west because the sun sets in the west. So noob choke is the Tibetan word for the west. America, Canada, Europe is yeah. called noob choke, the western direction. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, and this T, that, is that like a, a positive? A colon. Always think of it as a colon. How about like in a positive sometimes? Like indicating like a... Uh, if you want to memorize the grammar text, okay. there's like five possibilities. A positive, mm -hmm. a sequence, mm -hmm. a simultaneity. Mm -hmm. There's a list in the grammar text, and it says, good luck. Okay. You mm -hmm. figure it out. Mm -hmm. it's, it's contextual. Mm -hmm. it. You can only decide from the context. It's, it's not predictable. Okay. Uh, um, the, the teachings of the... Listener school. Yeah. Only that, ne. Only that stayed. Remained. Yeah. Okay. Meaning... Hinayana, mm -hmm. lower, the lower way. So here's the story Geshe Tinturanjan told 
that I didn't hear from other places. But I, I always wondered what happened for 700 years until Nagarjuna. There's nobody in the database. You know, there's a few ancient Abhidharma works by direct disciples of the Buddha, but there was a big gap. There's a 700 year gap. You know, the 10 year starts at 200. The Kang year stops at 500 BC. There's 700 years with no books. You know, uh, okay. Nyanta Kitamba Samshi Ne, only that remained. By the way, we're talking Tibet and India, but. Shwensang, right, mm -hmm. brought books. Well, really, they're Asanga, Vasubandhu. These are still 300 AD. Yeah. Mm. You know, I don't know if there's a lot of books in China. They came to China earlier, but, but there's still a gap uh, right after the Buddha, a couple centuries after the Buddha. There's a few, but nothing, not what you would expect after the passing of a great teacher. Samjing uh, Nepa. Nangpe? And Nambe Dupta Mawa. Nangpe, uh, Buddhists, Buddhists? Yeah. Those who taught the schools of. Or, uh, Dupta Mawa here means Dupta. Okay. Uh, schools? Schools. Sc Buddhist schools, okay. Also, Bashik means a what? Only. Yeah, only Chira Mawa. Um, only, uh, only the. By Bhashika. Yeah, by Bhashika's or people like them, Sok. Oh, etc. Okay. Yeah, yeah. By the way, Sok doesn't have to be etc. You can say people like the Vaibhashikas or mm. Vaibhashikas and the rest. Mm -hmm. or, right, okay. Sok, the word Sok, which is etc. In, in Tibetan, La Sokpa, right? Mm -hmm. If you translate it directly into English, you will kill your reader. Okay, because Tibetan uses it too often. Mm -hmm. They'll say, uh, I had coffee, etc., with Stanley, etc., <laughs> and we studied mind only, etc., uh, on Tuesday, etc. <laughs> you know, and you can't translate it that way. You, your, reader will, your reader will get tired of it. Okay, so you have to find ways to, to lighten it up. Tibetan uses etc. too much. Can you give an example? Because we met that word. Yeah, uh, it's, it's, a, it's a translation. La Sokpa is a weird translation of Adi in, in Sanskrit, which ADI, I think, and it comes at the beginning. And it just means uh, when there's a list that they don't want to repeat the whole list, yeah. they'll say giving and the rest. Mm. Yeah. Six perfections. Maitri Adi Shubhalani. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What? Maitri Adi Shubhalani. What's that mean? Uh, from Maitri Karuna Medito Upeksha. Oh, okay, or okay, okay, okay. Maitri and the others. Yeah, and the others. Yeah, okay. Uh, in Yoga Sutra? Yeah. Yeah, okay, good. Um, so in that case, would we have a footnote with the six, or would we put the six in there? Or? I would find different ways of expressing etc. Mm -hmm. okay? It's, it's what I call cloying. This is a new verb for you. <laughs> cloying means it irritates you. <laughs> uh, too many, etc. Yeah. So C L O Y. Cloying. Uh, usually it's I N G, almost always cloying. It means irritating. It's just too many, etc. in one English sentence. So, so be careful on your sopas. That's the point. It comes in two forms la sopa or sopa. Or sok. You want to know the most famous example? Uh, so when you do your geshe, you have to make a long list of all your relatives. <laughs> <laughs> and you have to pay extra money in the monastery. <laughs> and then they will read the list of your relatives at the geshe ceremony, you know. So I wrote all my relatives, you know, starting with my real mother, which is Elizabeth. And uh, we gave it to the geku. The debate master has to read it. It's a long scroll, like this, and everybody goes to sleep. <laughs> They start after everyone gets their tea and their tsampa. <laughs> they start reading it, you know, and he stands up there and everybody's like, <laughs> you know, and he's reading this thing. And uh, so he, he opens up this chart, you know, and everybody's eating and they're looking at him and he goes, Oh, I guess she loves on Chinsanis are paying for. Uh, 
Elizabeth La Sopa. Then he just closed it, you know. <laughs> like he spent like five minutes on Elizabeth. He couldn't get it out. <laughs> then he, like, he just like wrapped it up and said, Aunt Sentra. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty funny. <laughs> he thought I didn't know anything. Uh, again, Yangidem, so the only thing that remained was the Vaibhashikas. Bhashita Girpa became that. Tepa Chempa Donam Lani, Kupe Chetre Suchepa Dang, Lumba Joa Mepa. So the verb, mm -hmm. Mepa, is going to distribute to both parts of this sentence. You have to supply Mepa after Chepa, right here. Okay. This Mepa also applies to after here. And that's called distribution, mm -hmm. and you have to get used to it. Okay? And it has to be deduced. Adu adduced? By, uh, by context, okay? And here's what the context is. Take the Chambu Do. The Mahayana Sutras. Yeah. Kupa, we had him many times. Yeah, yeah out of respect. Cheng De is a beautiful Tibetan verb, and it means to treasure or to cherish. Okay? Cheng De, it's an idiom. To treasure or to, to cherish. Some. Cherish is the, the best translation. Okay, uh, Chepa, people who, who honored and cherished the Mahayana scriptures, he's not going to say that, right? He's going to say, me. Right. Did not. Yeah, there wasn't anybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nobody was left who, who, who honored and cherished the Mahayana scriptures. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you got to supply the me from the next sentence. Mm -hmm. Okay, got it? And there was nobody number Jorwa Po. Jorwa means to think of it as to apply yourself. Yeah, or Nelnjor. Yeah, yoga. So, what do you think it means here? Uh, no one's applying themselves to higher wisdom? To nobody practiced it. Yeah. Okay, so. He's talking about the books and the practice. Okay? There was nobody who valued the books, and there was nobody practicing what? Mahayana. 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 Good. Okay. John Mepa. Uh, not only that, now you got a. This is another idiom. Okay? Chusu. Say chusu. The classic occurrence of this word is in the third law of karma. If you don't do it, you won't get it. Yeah. If you won't do something. Is it in the third one? It's the fourth one. Isn't that the fourth one? Fourth one. Uh, they sometimes they reverse them. Yeah, yeah. What's the fourth one? If you, if you don't do something, you won't. That's the third one. No. Like you, yeah, you will get a result if you do something. No, but it's the, the Tibetan word is more sexy than that. Uh -huh. If you didn't means do anything, it won't just fade away. Uh -huh. oh, cool. Okay, over time, it won't just fade away. Yeah, so chus supa, it means to just fade away on its own. You know, like if you make a seed, it's not going to just slowly disappear on its own. It will stay active, strong, unless you do your four powers. <coughs> it's not going to go away by, by accident or, you know, by the nature of things. It's, it doesn't just fade. Fade is a good translation of chusupa, okay? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. But it's important to understand that these two words go together, chusupa, because su can mean to eat. Uh -huh. And if you look them up separately, you're going to be in trouble. Uh -huh. <coughs> okay. Chung uh, Stanley. Uh, Abhid no, Chung Lumba. Abhid Dharma. Oh, Chu is. Yeah, Chung Lumba. Chu is Sipa. Oh, sorry. Bumba means a collection. Uh, I'm assuming it's a book. I'm assuming it's the name of a book. Mm. Uh, I don't think it's even a collection, I should say. I think it's a, it's a book in 100,000 verses or 100,000 lines. The Abhidharma in 100,000 lines. 
Chusu. Even the Hinayana, the great Hinayana works, Fade just away. disappeared. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now my my theory, my feeling from the syntax is that this is the name of a book. Uh, the hundred thousand Abhidharma. Okay. So one of the ones that disappeared? Yeah. It it got lost. Right. It, it, could it mean the Abhidharma Pataka? No, Basket? no, because Abhidharma Kosha. Well, let's. But so I propose we go look. Yeah. Uh -huh. If someone's, by the way, the first Dalai Lama, for example, has a list of the early Abhidharma works that disappeared. Mm. Mm. Wow. Uh, so awesome. there was one by Malgalyayana, for example. That was the first one, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, there's seven of them or something. Mm -hmm. yeah. So let's go look up Chungam Bumba. Okay. So we'll go to Gopher. Let's see if it's a book or it means the collection. Are we looking for the book being referred to in another book? Yeah, we're going to see if anybody in the Sumbum talked about Chungun Bumba. Okay? And where else might it be mentioned is in the Tengir. Okay, so let's look in these two places. And let's see if it was a book or it was a collection. That's what we're trying to decide. Okay? And it's only because of the database that you can decide. Unless you want to read every book. You know, by Bobby, about Bobby. and we used to, we used to scan the Kangir looking for a quotation. You know, it took many, many hours, and it was, and scholarship in those days, Western scholarship was, boiled down to who had the patience, <laughs> to to spend hundreds of hours looking for something. You know, okay. Thank you for making the database. Yeah, yeah. yeah, we're really lucky. I mean, when the PC was invented, I was like, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is our current work. Uh -huh. mm. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, yeah. we can cancel that one. Yeah. How many matches in the in the database? I'm sorry, you can't see it. It's one out of one. Oh, uh, really? <laughs> yeah. In the whole tenure. In the whole 200,000 books of Buddhism, you know, we don't have them all input. No one mentioned this. No one. Okay. So does that Is, mean do we have any that? other recourse? Mm -hmm. uh, Uncatalog data. Yeah, and there's the reference. Mm -hmm. We have a mm -hmm. separate database called the reference books. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Catalogs and uh, dictionaries. Okay. So out of desperation, these are, these are desperation places to go. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Cancel the Tengir, cancel the Sumbum, go to all the reference works. This is the 141,000 entries of the St. Petersburg catalog. We took it out of the database. Why? Because we don't have the books. You just keep hitting that. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know? It takes a week oh. to get out of that folder. You know? When you're searching a Yeah, because yeah. uh, in many cases there's 20 of the same book there. Yeah, yeah, so it just yeah. drives you crazy. Mm -hmm. So I took it out of the database and put it in a separate place called the reference. Because otherwise it messes up all your searches. Mm -hmm. You just spend all day in the St. Petersburg catalog. Mm -hmm. Okay. It was a, it's the greatest catalog of Asian literature ever assembled by anybody. Mm -hmm. And it's unknown. Nobody knows about it. Except you guys. Uh, reference and... Uncatalog data? Uncatalog data, yeah, where are you? Oh. Here. Yeah. The garbage can, I hate to say it, but... <laughs> it takes more money to... <laughs> 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 uh -huh. Is there any way to get the whole thing on the screen? We're trying to see if uh, this can phrase... You can you shrink go for it? Can you shrink the go for it? Or it means the collection, of like the, the Abhidharma basket or yeah. something. Yeah. The collection of Abhidharma yeah. scriptures. When this is jumping like that, it means you're in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> it means I'm looking, I don't find anything. Uh, oh, this is a new one. Uh, this is probably some... This is a, a late commentary on some kappa. Uh, and it doesn't give any more information. Is it maybe a quote? Uh, by the way, I'll read it to you. It's a comment on our text. Take pa chembe do nam People began to believe 
that the Mahayana scriptures were not spoken by the Buddha. Mm. So he's expanding, he's taking Jatsankapa's words and he's expanding on them. And uh, uh, therefore they didn't respect them and treasure them. And things like the Chungumba Bumba uh, got lost. But he's still not clear whether he's talking about a collection or, or uh, a book. Okay. Mm. Well, I was wondering because what is, do they have a different word that they use for pitika in Tibetan typically to refer to the three baskets? Yeah, dana. Dana. Yeah. <coughs> these are A file, B file, C file, D file, same book. Okay, yeah, these, these hits are not relevant. Yeah, and that, okay. that's all. And Boba could, could just mean a lot. I believe it's a single book. I, th I believe it's a single book, and it's so lost that no one knows about it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> they were right. It's not listed anywhere, <laughs> okay. Uh, is it more logical to say it's a collection of teachings? Because in the previous teaching, it's talking about Hinayana. Well, it's not true that all the books on Abhidhamma got lost, you see. He, uh, I think he's talking about some major book that got lost. Oh, yeah, yeah. And Bumba is also refers to, like, Single books in the Kangi are called Bumba, you know, mm -hmm. like the Shiroki Parthachimba Boom mm -hmm. means the hundred thousand verses. Uh, so, if you know, I'll show you another search that you can do at the same time. That's the cool thing about Gopher, you can have ten searches going on at the same time. See how many I have going on here? Uh, you can search for Abhidharma, right, near Boom. And you'll get any kind of variation on it. Right. You see what I mean? And you want to keep it to one line. Okay, so let's go to back to Sumbum. Was it named something similar to that? Uh, let's go to Tengir. Where are you? Uh, Tengir. And we can do Sumbum. Okay. So actually with that one line, I, I discovered in some searches I've been doing that sometimes one line uh, doesn't work. Oh, Sometimes really? Looking into the code oh. behind that. No, he's just quoting the Abhidhamma Kosha. He's quoting. No. 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 Uh. No. No. No, he's talking about Sonawa, who, who, who knew a thousand, a hundred thousand books of Vinaya. We got sixteen choices here. No. No. No, this is interesting. Oh, this is a list of all the numbers up to 10 to the 60th power yeah, yeah, yeah. from the Abhidharma yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, it is a, it's in his uh, auto commentary, I think. Uh, no. 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 And that's, that's our text. Same thing, yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, so sorry. We're going to assume it's a book that's so lost, nobody knows about it. Okay? And how Jetson Kappa knew about it, we don't know. Just a minute. Shiraki Paro Chimbala Sopa Subjin Gyachoe Donam Ni Lui Gyapo Chimba Nanki Nena Shupa Dakte. The verb here is talk. Okay? It was said. Okay? Yeah. It was. 
believed in the world. Okay? It was believed, and here's the Dany Grammar case, that, mm -hmm. it was believed that, mm -hmm. or it was said that, Shira Kipata Chimba La Sopa, the great, the deep, and widespread, right? A reference to the two sides of the teaching. Uh, emptiness and Yeah, bodhicitta. and bodhicitta, okay. Those sutras which combine these two f streams of thought, mm -hmm. the widespread and the profound, and that's worth a footnote, mm -hmm. okay, I think. Uh, meaning Mahayana scriptures, which combine the, the widespread and the profound. Emptiness and bodhicitta, okay. Uh, meaning the books of the Prajnaparamita, uh, it was said that they shook. They were resigning, right? We have a shook so at the end of titles. Herein contained is that they were contained in the lands of the Louis Gelpos. The Naga Nagas. Yeah, the kings of the Nagas. Okay. It was said that they took those books to their, to their lands. Okay, uh -huh. all right. And uh, Ken Rinpoche has the best biography of Nagarjuna I ever read at the beginning of his uh, letter to a friend. Mm -hmm. There is no better biography that I'm aware of, okay. Uh, there'll be something in this book. Mm. Uh, but uh, there's two great biographies from India, about Indian Buddhism. One is Bhutan and one is somebody else. Oh, Taranata, yeah. They're right there. The two best ones mm -hmm. in English. Uh, that's also very good. You're right. Yeah. By it's Jung's and Yoshi Gyonsen. Yeah. Uh, and then, because Lopting says, okay, then he's quoting uh, Lopting. What's Lopting? Letter to a student. Yeah, a letter to a student. Who wrote it? Probably Ari Nagarjuna. Yeah. I think it's another book by Nagarjuna. Yeah. Uh, <coughs> you want to make sure? Sure. Mm -hmm. Over here. Uh, as I remember, it's not called Lobting in the in the Tengir. So I'm going to search near each other. Okay? Mm -hmm. y you see the search going on up there? And I'm going to limit my search to the Tohoku catalog, okay? And there you go. Ramana. Who wrote it? Uh, Ch Ch Chandogomi. Mm. It's not by Nagarjuna. Okay. Uh, who's also around the time of Nagarjuna, mm. I think. Um, now, I, I, I was reading this just before class, and uh, I don't, I'm not comfortable with one of the words here. So I'd like to go get the original. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to take a... Uh, am I going to take Kang Yin? No, it's too... <laughs> yeah, I'm going to get 10,000. Let's just look for fun. Okay. Okay, I'm going to search the Tengir for Kang Yin. Okay, like I took a piece out of that quotation. I'm going to go look for that quotation. But this piece I took is, is. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, or something like that. I'm just curious how many hits, how many hits you're going to have to read. Okay. Just for fun. Thirty thousand hits. It's forty-three thousand seven hundred ninety-four. Do you have time to check them all? <laughs> One. Again, <laughs> again, 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 find the most unusual words you can find in the, in the quotation, okay? Or use a proximity search, okay? So, Kang Yin Lung Goi, okay? Let's just expand it. I just plugged it in, yeah, thank you, though. Kang Yin Lung Goi, okay? Does it matter that I'm searching lowercase? No. No, because look, I've set it to ignore. Okay, it, I don't have to worry if I'm typing little letters or big letters. Okay, now let's go look in the thing here. It's not plugged in yeah, here. You are so smart. Here, do me. 
Okay, we didn't find anything. Maybe he's misquoted it. Uh, what does the boy mean? The head of the the head of the <laughs> naga. Not like that. Okay, let's try a different part. <laughs> this is not it. This is not it. Oh, there's 40 of them. Okay, if we want to reduce this, the hits, mm -hmm. we can do proximity. Mm -hmm. Find it near Tsuk, okay? Nearby. Let's say two lines, okay, Beth? Uh, Utpala, sorry. Here we go. Not that one, right? Not that one. And there's no more. Mm. Hmm. Sai uh, Ting, Let's go for a different piece. Sai Ting. Okay. Near, give me some other piece. Sai Ting, Where are we? Um, here. Yeah. One down here. Zablip. Okay. Let's try that. Yeah, here it is. And there's another one. I want to see the other one. This is it, okay? Sorry. Uh, okay, here's one version of it. But it's still got the same mistake that I thought. <coughs> okay, here's another version of it, okay? Tembarinchen Choktar Sangla Pemipa Number Taksu Kayan Lui Koi Nungo Dengachen Chamanunki Tsukigen Shin Kunine Saitina. It's pretty close. It's almost the same. Uh, let's translate it. And I, I have the trouble with one word, okay? Uh, this is being used, this is scriptural proof for a statement that what? That the teachings the declined? Yeah. <coughs> that these Mahayana books were sitting in the lands of the, the Naga oh, cool. Okay, this is a scriptural oh, yeah. proof for that oh, statement. Wow. Okay. Tembarenchen uh, Choktar. The precious teachings. Choktar Sang. Uh, as pure as the highest could be. Okay. Mm. But then pen mepa. What do you get for pen? Oh, benefit. Oh, maybe damage. Pen mepa. Mepa without damage. Really? Because pemba means to help, right? Yeah. Let's try das. You can also mean cast out. Huh. Thrown. Yeah. Is the same pen as in like a arrow? Uh, yeah. yeah. But it doesn't make any sense. Tassel of fringe. Resolution? Promise? I've got the main. I think it means undamaged. Uh, Alternate hanging No, it's all pen. Yeah. Oh, I'm pen. sorry. Yeah. Banner. <laughs> Decoration. Okay, here it is here. Okay, here it is in dust. When you have a plus here, Mm -hmm. It means archaic. Uh, okay, uh, ancient, ancient, ancient use of the word, and it means to be, to be lost or to be degenerated. Mm. Cool. Okay, okay, uh -huh. but it's archaic. Can you make the, the font a little bit bigger? I can't. Gopher. Gopher doesn't do that. Oh, that's gopher. Sorry. Archaic use of the word. No, it doesn't do that. I'm sorry. You can talk to Ted. <laughs> I'm sorry it doesn't. That's why I have to wear glasses. Okay. Uh, so pen mepa here means uh, 
not damaged. In their original form. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Not degenerated. Okay. Mm -hmm. The the precious, the highest, the precious teaching, uh, which is as as beautiful as though it were the highest. Okay, something like that. Okay. Okay. In its undamaged form. Number Daksu in its pure form, okay, number takpa, okay. Kain, where can this be found? The pure form, okay. Lungo dengat chen chembo, okay. Lungo, lungo means those whose head are, are that of a naga. Looks like a dragon. Denka means uh, the hood of a cobra. This thing. Okay. Those with the denka, and uh, I'll show you something cool. Hang on. Uh, I want the image. Ta da! Okay, there's the lungo denka. Anyway, they're supposed to have uh, what do you call it? Hoods. Sna a hood on a cobra. Mm -hmm. The kind of snake has this skin here. <coughs> okay. Yeah. So supposedly Nagas have this denka. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's Nagarjuna, by the way. A nice old carving of Nagarjuna. Donam Lui Gabu Denka Chen Chembo, the great Nagas, meaning the kings of the Nagas. Ki uh, Gen. Tsuk means this, Shikandi. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Tsuki uh -huh. Genshin. So they so respect those Mahayana scriptures that they are like this. Okay, they they put them on the top of their head, rather than a jewel. So normally Nagas like to have a ruby here or a diamond here, and there here these guys have got this Mahayana script. They can't read them. They just hold them here, you know. Ku uh, nene, ku means out of respect. Ne means to. Uh, it's an ancient, ancient verb for like give a vow, grant a vow, or they. I don't know how do you want to say it. They hold them up here. Okay. Okay. Nene. Sai ting na. Ting is a beautiful word. Uh, it has two meanings. Ting can mean a water bowl. Mm. Okay, that's called a ting. Mm -hmm. uh, there's ting shak ting. Mm -hmm. That's yes. called ting shak. Mm -hmm. But gao gao tang a ting. Gao ta ting a ting means uh, the depth of the ocean. Yeah. It's a word that's only used for the bottom of the ocean. Okay. Oh. Or the bottom of a deep place. Here is the bottom of the sa. Earth? In the caverns of the, at the depths of the earth. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's where supposedly the Nagas like to live. They like to stay far under the ground, like hundreds of miles under the ground. And they have these big caverns like Lord of the Rings. <laughs> like Lord of the Rings. <laughs> okay. uh, and, uh, and those books down there, living at the bottom of the, of the earth, right? Rabrib is the most famous Rabrib is at the end of the Diamond Cutter Sutra. Oh, uh, it's a metaphor. For, uh, no. no. Come on. <laughs> Last verse, the poem at the end of the verse. Oh, yeah, something with the. Gima kama rabdi dang. Gima subu tubu dang. Milam lotan tinda bu tuche chinam de ta ta. Oh. Yeah, a cataract. 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 Okay, uh, that white skin that goes on your eyes. Okay. Cell. Uh, so. Clear, clear yeah, now, what's the difference between Kao Sala Cell and Sa Dembo Sela Cell? Same pronunciation. One uh, clears and one is clearly. One is an adjective that means uh, clear. 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 And one is a verb that means clear away. Uh, uh, Which one is this? Clear away. Yeah, good. So translate it that way. Don't say clear. It's a verb. Okay? It's, they're, so, they're homonyms. They sound the same. There's no difference between Sala cell and sa dembo sela cell in pronunciation. So, what's that last part there mean? Um, 
Rabdu Sawante. Those to, books it's referring to the books the down books in the depths of the earth would clear away clear away cataracts, clear away blockages. In the blindness spiritual blindness of those Nagas. Okay. Okay. Because nim means like to sacredly accept or something. Like when you take a vow, sometimes nim. So they, you know, they honor these books and they hold them to the, they press them to the top of their heads and it clears away the blindness, spiritual blindness <coughs> of the Nagas. So they, it, it is said, tar, it is said mm -hmm. that they kept the books uh, during those 700 years. Oh. Okay, like they, they were the guardians oh. and they took oh. care of them. And then the guardian is big deal. Yeah. Naga Arjuna, yeah. the yeah. boss of the yeah. Nagas, his name means boss of the Nagas, yeah. he, he negotiated with them. Yeah. He, he went there and he negotiated, he brought them back. He was also the accountant of uh, Nalanda, so he was good at negotiation. Uh, like trying to get money out of sponsors and stuff. Okay, all right, here we go. Let, we have some more time, I hope. Uh, we didn't minutes. do much. Let's go a little bit more. Yay. Let's try to. Let's try to. Now he's going to quote. Uh, Pakpa here just means exalted sutra, mm -hmm. as Jigme knows. Mm -hmm. She has typed exalted sutra several hundred times so far. <laughs> okay, in the Kangyur, Mahayana sutras are often called exalted. Mm -hmm. It doesn't mean Arya here. The original meaning of Pakpa is just superior. Okay, Dene Papa Lankar Shepa. The Exalted Sutras um, bros? The R is a, is a locative. Lankar. Lankar? Oh. Um, Lankar is. Journey to oh. Lanka. Went. Journey to oh, Lanka. Meaning to Sri, Sri Lanka. Lanka. Okay, so this is a famous Mahayana Sutra called the Journey to Lanka. Oh. Okay, meaning Sri Lanka. Oh. Okay. Gumbo uh, Nyang and De Ogdu, after the after the protector. Uh, this Ok means under, right? But in time it means after. Okay, so sometimes we use it for after. After the in the days after the the, the our protector achieved his final nirvana. Uh, no, I'm sorry. Somebody asked the Buddha, after, the, after the, our protector reaches his final nirvana, Dembar Sugyo Shedusul. Shedusul means, can you tell us? Can you explain to us? Can you tell us who will keep the teachings? Yeah, who will keep these teachings after you pass away? Somebody asked the Buddha. Then he answers, Deshe Nyang and Deoktu, after the one gone to bliss passes away, okay? Tsunam Dzimba Gyuwa De. There will be somebody who holds his teaching. Mm -hmm. There will be someone who preserves his teaching. Who? Tudang Dene Jumani. He will occur, he will come to this world after some time has passed, 700 years. He doesn't say, but right? Tudang <laughs> Dene. This day doesn't mean Nyang and Day. Oh. This day means after some time has passed, after some centuries. Okay, Tudang Dene Jumani. Lodu Chambo Kyoshe Jiu. This Jiu is imperative tense of to do. Uh -huh. You should know, you should realize that someone will come of great wisdom. Okay? Kyoshe Jiu means he's talking to the monks who asked him the question. Uh -huh. You should understand, okay? You should understand that someone will come in this world who has great wisdom. Okay? Uh, where? Hlojok Vaidalyul. So. West? Uh, mm -hmm. West. Hlo. Hlo? South. South. I mean, excuse me. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So, so he will come to the south yeah. of India uh -huh. to the land called Vaida. Oh, okay. And one time I was driving with Geshe Lothar from Bangalore. Bangalore Airport to the monastery. And you go through a place where there's a lot of coconut growth. And he says, this is Vaidayu. Now, I don't know if it's true or not. This is where Nagarjuna was born. 
Huh. You know, and we always stop and get a coconut. And you know, <laughs> there's 200 guys on the side of the road selling coconuts, and they they crack it for you, and you you drink it, and you take a break from this eight-hour drive. You know, and he said, "This is by the you." You know, I don't know if it's true. Uh -huh. Okay, but uh, now if I were you, I would want to go check the uh, the Sanskrit. Okay. And maybe it's here, and maybe it's not. <laughs> it's not. Uh, is it? Did I spell it right? Oh, B E E. It's eight twenty nine. I'm Russian. <laughs> that's Vidarbha. That's not it. Or it could be. Maybe it's one of these two. Maybe it's Vidarbha. Okay, you can check. Vida is an abbreviation of something else. Okay. You could go into the Sumbu. And if it were me, a uh, word, I would search it near Yule. Okay. Because maybe someone used, in poetry you cut things short. Okay, so let's go look in the Sumbu. I want to finish this verse with you. Yeah, it is Vaidarga. Here's the full name, and that's how you find things. Okay, right here. Vaidarga. Vaidarga. Mm -hmm. Okay, the country's name was Vaidarga. The place's name was Vaidarga. Okay, got it? And you could put a footnote. This is from the book that Stanley mentioned. Look at the bottom. Yeah, Nick's work allows us to see which book it is at the bottom of the search. Okay. So, okay, by Dalga. Let's finish this line. You have a cold? I'm sorry. I have some medicine if you want. I'm gonna. Uh, a monk who is of great fame, a glorious monk of great fame, okay, and his name shall be called Lu. The Naga. Okay. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not that one. Yuda Mepe Chok Jigche. Yuda Mepe Chok Jigche. He will destroy both opinions. Oh. Things exist or things <laughs> don't exist. Um, okay. He will destroy yeah. both positions. Here, direction means position. Direction. Mm. Uh, that things exist or things don't. And and he will explain my way in the world as the highest way, as the unsurpassable way of the greater way. And uh, we had that expression before, right? Anuttara. It's a, it could be a pun. Yeah. Okay. Now, one more line and we're done. Raptugawa Sadrupte, he will reach the level called Raptugawa. Oh, yeah. oh, it's a Bodhisattva level, isn't it? First Bodhisattva level. Yeah. Mm. It means he will see emptiness directly. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so Raptugawa, yeah. which is, I translate as perfect, happen perfect happiness, mm -hmm. it's the name of the first Bodhisattva level. Uh. Meaning, so he's <laughs> saying he will see emptiness directly. Deva Chandu De Dro O, and this one will go, De means Nagarjuna, uh -huh. that person will go to the heaven of Tushita. Uh. Okay. He's saying he reached the first Bodhisattva, so he'll be an Arya and he'll be Mahayana. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Not just a normal Arya. <laughs> Not just any old Arya. Uh, <laughs> just a plain old Arya. I'm sorry, it's not uh, Tushita, it's Sukhavati. Okay. Oh. Sakavati. Dewa Chen and the other one's called oh, what's uh Tushina it's called in Tibetan. Ganden. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so he'll reach Sukavati. Okay? No, yesterday when we got a quote like this, but uh, this is such a common sutra, but we we don't need to go look at it. Oh we should go look at it. Ben's right. Hang in there for a few more minutes. <laughs> Let's take a really unique part of this. We're going to take a really unique part of this. 
We're going to take a really unique part of this. We're going to take a really unique part of this. Called, he will be called the Naga. We're going to take that part. Okay. Not anywhere else. Hopefully it's not anywhere else. But if it is, it'll be interesting to find it. By the way, and here's a real instance of the verb put. Called. <coughs> okay? Yeah. Which That's means cool. to bet. The word means to bet. Uh, the place you can call to. He will be called the Naga. Yeah. So here, one of the few places where you see it used as a verb. Is it because it's just really old? Oh. Is that yeah, it's old. Yeah. You're not going to yell Naga, right? Uh, <laughs> hey, Lou! Hey, Lou, man! <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, what? <laughs> I think of Carl from Aquatine Hungry. <laughs> okay, what's the book we hit? What book did we hit? Jenny yeah, you go to the bottom. Uh, and because uh, of Jigme's work, you can have you have the English at the bottom, so you know. See, see, you you know where you are. Okay, and you even have a nice uh, pronunciation of the Sanskrit name of the book. The Exalted okay. Sutra called Going. To okay. Sutra. Uh, now, Deshe Nyang and Depe Ok. Let's go look at the original. Yeah, that was the same. Now, that says mm -hmm. the one gone to happiness, right? Yeah. Let's go put them side by side. I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, and by the way, the quotation keeps going. Okay. <coughs> Here we go. Teshek nyang and depe ok, gumbo nyang and de ok tu. Okay? So the original, in, in our kangir. By the way, you have to say in our kangir. Because okay. mm -hmm. who knows, there might have been another kangir. Mm -hmm. don't, don't say, this guy is wrong. Uh -huh. Okay, tsongkapa. <laughs> <laughs> okay, he might have had access to a different kangir. You know? So the first line is slightly different. Uh, yeah, here it's a question. Who will keep your teaching? Here it's a statement. Somebody will keep it. Okay, got it? That's the same. That's the same. This is a mistake in the carving. The pa? Yeah, this should be B E E. Oh, and the, oh and the typist was, I don't understand. Uh, 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 the rest is the same. Okay? By the way, those of you who care, uh, some people, guess what some people think is going on here? Lo Chak. Oh, Lo San Jakpa. Yeah. Uh -huh. Some people think it's a prediction of Tsongkhapa. Uh -huh. Or that Tsongkhapa was Nagarjuna. Okay? Some people say, oh, look, it's got Lo, it's got Da. Uh -huh. Lo San Jakpa. Yeah. Some people say that. Got it? Yeah. Cool? Sexy? Yeah. Yeah, yeah and here's the, here's the, when you, we're going to talk about how to make a footnote. And, and this gopher is going to save your life. Because yeah. half the footnote is there already. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I like it because people will say to you, you know, people from uh, Burma or, or Sri Lanka, you know, what are you talking about this in uh, Mahayana? Hey, man, it's in the Kangya. It's in the original scriptures. You want me to show you? Okay. So it's, it's sexy when you're trying to prove something to somebody. Mm. You can, you know, I, I really like it when some student in a class is foolish enough to say, you know, I never heard of that. Mm. Then I'm like, <laughs> 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 there, there's 23 of them. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sashi Puni Joshi Chapar 
My pleasure. We We're still not sure if he started the minority school or if he's. You know. <laughs> uh, we're not there yet. We're not there yet. No.